Hey everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts and this week's tip of the week. This week we're going to talk a little bit about the Pro Stitcher record function. Now this is a function that I don't go to all that often, but it's one of those functions that can be very useful to you. And the way that we're going to speak about it today is in relation to free motion quilting. Okay, so the first thing is I am in simulation mode on my laptop. So over here, my motors has the S by it. That means I'm in simulation. What I want you to do is pretend that you're at your machine as you watch me do what I'm about to do. So at the machine, your motors will have that picture of the little padlock, right? So it's either going to be closed or open whether or not your motors are engaged or disengaged, okay? Or locked or unlocked, however you want to think about that. Also at your machine, in the Pro Stitcher tab, right next to the record function is the gears button. Now, for simulation purposes today, I'm going to leave the gears button engaged. At your machine, you could make a decision whether to leave that engaged, meaning that's going to be engaged with your blue track, or you can disengage it and your crosshairs will go purple. Okay, in simulation, it just works better if I leave this engaged. Okay, now at your machine, if you leave this engaged and you try to record something free motion, you're going to be able to do it, but your machine is going to have drag on it, right? Because it's engaged with the blue track on your table. Okay, so just please understand that in simulation, I'm leaving this engaged. If you're at your machine, you'll probably want to disengage that. Okay, all right, so back to Pro Stitcher, record. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on the record function. Now, anything that you do with, with your machine, as you move your machine around, it's going to start recording what you're doing. Now, no judging about my uh, free motion skills here in <laughs> simulation. But one distinction that I want you to understand is that once you hit the record, you can start moving your machine without actually hitting the start button on your handlebars, okay? So it's, it's making a recording of any movement you make with your machine. Now, if you want to actually stitch while you're recording, that's absolutely possible as well. Okay, so either way, just move the machine or start the machine stitching and it's going to record that movement. When you're done, you're done, just stop and then you just turn the record function off. I would go ahead and baseline. You might want to rename that to a name that makes more sense. How about we just call it MK Free Motion uh, Loops and bubbles or whatever okay naming it over here doesn't save it so we better go ahead and save it okay if we save it as an hqf file that just means that we can use it we can resize it right we can use it in different places on our quilt so think about this scenario maybe you are a gifted free motion quilter and maybe you have six blocks on your quilt and you want this design in all six of those blocks but you don't want a free motion all six of them you just want a free motion one of them record it and then place it in all of the other five locations okay so that's kind of just a basic way of using the record function now clearly that's not very pretty let's go ahead and clear that and let me open up for you on the screen a couple of blocks by designer Carly Porter let me just refresh so that you can see it so of course Carly Porter is a designer she's also a handy quilter ambassador and she does some really fantastic free motion designs and then basically what she does, you guys, is she records them while she's doing that. And then she goes ahead, takes that design into Art and & Stitch and pretties it up a little bit. And then she pops it on her website and she can sell that over and over again just from what she did with her crazy talent 
uh, with free motion. Okay, so that's just a really, really quick explanation of the record feature. Now, I know that sometimes it's hard for you to visualize just all of this by only using simulation. So let me go over to the machine. I'll try to get as good of a camera angle as I can, and let me show you these steps at the machine. All right, everybody, here we are at the machine, and I'm going to show you this the best that I can. I just finished up with a panto over here on McMara, and I have just a little bit of space here at the end in the extra batting to show you this. So let me bring the camera in a little bit closer, and I'll try to show you a little bit of the record function actually at the machine. I am doing this recording in the dark here in the studio just because of the way that the lights were uh, in in house. Okay, so here we are at our Pro Stitcher at the machine. And let me just pull it in a little closer so that you can see. I'm going to close my little console box there. Okay, I'm going to go into Pro Stitcher and here's the record button. Okay, let me just move this over a little bit so that you can see. Okay, so over here we talked about your motors, your motors. Okay, obviously if your motors are locked, the machine doesn't move. Okay, so we want to make sure the motors are unlocked. Now, right now, I'm going to hit refresh so you can see my crosshairs are orange because my gears are engaged. Okay, so my gears are engaged with my blue track on the table. If I disengage the gears, you hear them release, and now I'm in free motion. Let's go ahead and refresh again, and you can see that now my machine is completely in free motion, and the crosshairs are purple. All right, so I'm standing off to the side, and I'm doing this kind of one-handed, so again, no judging. But what I'm going to do under the Record tab is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to push the Record button. Now, if you have one of the newer machines, you can also depress your star button on your handlebars. For today, let's just go ahead and click the button. Now you're gonna see as I move the machine, do you see how it's drawing whatever motion that I am making, it's drawing that on the screen. Okay, it took a little bit to catch up with me there. I might have been moving a little bit too fast for it. Okay, when I'm done recording, we just un undepress the record button, and now what we have created on the screen is an actual design. If we go under workspace, again, there is the little indicator that it was a free, it was a free hand record. If you want, you come right down here, you go ahead and rename it. How about we rename it, and let's just call it uh, MK free motion loops or whatever whatever we're calling it and I can't type well here in the dark <laughs> okay we enter remember naming it doesn't save it so I would probably go ahead and save it and I'm just gonna save it in my seed designs right at my root of my seed designs library and hit save now, if I wanted to, I could go under Pro Stitcher. Actually, let's go ahead and re-engage our gears. And if I wanted to now, I could take that design, and you can't really see this, but let me just go down a little bit. Okay, basically, I'm just positioning my machine where I would want that to stitch. Okay, so my machine is positioned. Now, I need to position my pattern. What I would probably do is do Modify, reposition, reposition that on the start point, refresh so that I can see, and then I could go ahead and stitch this out. Now, I'm gonna turn off my stitch button because I don't want this actually stitching. I'm also just gonna make sure that I'm not hitting my rail or anything else, and it's fine, okay? So just like that, you've created a design without even turning your machine on. I wasn't stitching just then, was I? All I did was hit record and went ahead and moved the machine and whatever motion that I made, it recorded that. All right, let's go ahead and hit stop. Let's go ahead and clear this. Again, let's go under Pro Stitcher. Let's turn off our gears. Let's make sure we're on the record screen and I'm gonna hit record. Refresh so that you can see where I'm at. Now this time, I'm actually gonna stitch. 
Okay, so I've turned my machine on and I'm just stitching a little bit into my batting area here. Again, no judging the free motion. Okay, and now whatever I recorded while I was stitching, that has been uh, made into a free motion design. Again, we'll come over here under workspace. I would probably rename it. This time, I'm not gonna rename it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it called what it was called and go ahead and save that. And, and just like that, again, we have created a design just by using the record function. And let me turn my gears back on. You hear my Pro Stitcher engage. And then again, that design, that beautiful design that I have created, I could go ahead and stitch that at any location on my quilt. All right, you guys, so that was really, really basic. And you all know that I'm really not much of a free motion quilter, but I want you to play around with the record function and do some free motion. Capture that using the record function. Save it, and then go and stitch it out some other place. Okay, in another video tip of the week, I will cover the record function, but as it relates to marking. That'll be for another day. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me on this week's tip of the week. And until next time, from my studio to yours, happy quilting. Bye-bye.